Hola mi gente and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new to this channel, hi, my name is Alexandra and I would love for you to join the family. All right, so for today's video, I wanted to show you guys something that we all struggle with when getting into makeup. I know I did and it's something that when you see other people do it, you're just like, how? How do they do it so fast? and so effortlessly. But what I have noticed that when other people have, or other YouTubers have showed you guys how to apply false lashes, I've noticed that every time they use um, the little tweezers for false lashes, and for beginners that is kind of tricky. So I was like, you know what? I want to do a video showing you guys how to apply false lashes with your best beauty tool, your fingers. So if you like videos like this and want to keep watching me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And all right, let's get on to the video where I will show you how to apply false lashes step by step. All right, so first you want to curl your lashes and apply mascara. It's very important and helps your natural lashes blend in with the false lashes. So first I'm just going to curl my lashes and first I'm just going to demonstrate it on one eye then I'm going to apply mascara and this is my Maybelline false lash lift and you want to coat the lashes from the root towards the end and then you just want to do the same thing on this eye and then don't forget some lower lash mascara as well a lot of people underestimate the power of the lower lash mascara. It's actually pretty important when applying false lashes because it just opens up the eye even more. And lower lash mascara makes just the whole false lash eye look more realistic. All right, now that we have applied the mascara, now we can get on to our lashes. Now, one thing that is very important when applying false lashes is the glue you use. Trust me, it makes a huge difference, the glue you use. I know I've passed through bad experiences of using a bad lash glue, and what happens is the front portion of your lash pops up really quickly when you have bad lash glue, or you can see the glue. It's just bad experiences, and it's not worth even trying. So a lash glue that I love, that I feel just adheres the lash so quickly and I have no problems throughout the day with like my inner corner popping off or any part of my lash popping off. I have no problem with this glue. And that is the Duo Lash Glue. Ever since I got it, I haven't changed it because it's so good and it's such a good price. And then, you want to choose a lash that doesn't have a thick lash band. Again, I come through bad experiences with um, lashes with thick bands. What happens is when it has such a thick band, you can notice it on the lid and you can see like a separation between the lash and your actual lashes. You don't want that. So you want a lash band that isn't too thick. Okay, so here are my lashes. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the lash glue and apply it to the lash band. Now you don't want to put too much nor too little. When you have too much, the lash glue will not dry down enough. And when you have too little, it dries too quickly. So you want it somewhat like this, evenly coated. And you want to let it dry just enough where it's tacky enough, but you don't let it dry too much where it doesn't stick to your eye anymore. And with this one, you will know when it's dry enough because it turns blue. So what I'm gonna do is stick first the front portion of the lash because that is the first to pop off. You want to really secure that. So I always glue the front portion with my fingers really just pressing it on. And then I take the other half and adhere it to the eye, gluing it close enough to the lash line so it looks as realistic as possible. 
really just pressing that on there. Then once I have it on there, what I do is press the natural lashes with the falsies to make it look realistic. And again, make sure that inner corner is really well secured because if not, it will pop right off. All right, and see, you do not need a lash tool to apply the lashes. And now I'm just gonna show you again with this eye, just in case you wanted to see it one more time. And if you have to cut the lash, like with this one, I didn't have to, but if you have to, always cut towards the end, never towards the beginning, because then it'll be harder for you to apply the lash and it just won't look natural if you cut it towards the beginning of the lash. And again, I am just going to glue the front portion, the lash, and then the second half. Then I'm pressing the false lashes with my real lashes together so that it all looks natural as natural as it can get. Also, when gluing the lash, make sure not to get too into the eye. Like right here, you always wanna have a little small front portion of your eye. Do not wanna touch that, because what will happen is you're, you're gonna water your eye and it's gonna, your eye's gonna get irritated if you glue too close, all the way close to here. Like, trust me, you will know if you're getting too close into the inner corner or the front portion of your eye because your eye will immediately get irritated and start crying. But yeah, so this is how you apply false lashes with just your fingers. Now, some people do like to go in after applying their false lashes and apply mascara just to really match the natural lash with the false lashes. You don't really have to do that. That's preference or your personal choice. I don't do it. It's not really necessary. And again, applying false lashes is something that takes practice, time, and patience. At the beginning, yes, it's going to be hard. It's gonna be tricky, but you will learn step by step slowly. And the more times you practice applying these false lashes, the better you will get at it. Cause trust me, false lashes is a game changer for your makeup. It just makes everything nice and tight together. And once you get the hang of it, it'll be a piece of cake afterwards. Now I'm just gonna go over the important things you need to do for when applying false lashes, just in case you forget. Curl your lashes, apply mascara, get a lash but a lash band that isn't too thick and that doesn't mean expensive either ardell and beauty creations both make amazing lashes you just find the ones that suit your eye shape the best and lash glue very important i recommend duo and of course have patience and practice all right i hope you guys like this video if you did, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below any suggestions you have on videos. Like if you would like to see more videos geared toward beginners, like this video. If you wanna see summer makeup tutorials. If you want to see me try out products for you guys. I would love to do anything you guys suggest. And all right, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.